All right, here we go again, Thursday, August 18th in the sports world. What's up, everybody? Ben Reza here for Odd Chopper, bringing you my best bet of the day from across the sports world, whether it's baseball, soon enough, college football, or everything in between. We have broken down the games, we have looked at the values, and we've identified the play that we think has the best chance to cash that ticket. If you are hopping in for the first time, checking out the channel, welcome to Odd Chopper. Welcome to this community. Got you covered for all things betting. If you want to support us, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the videos that we have dropping. All right, let's get into it. First, let's do a recap. Yesterday, the New York Yankees. No, no dice in the first five. As I said in the video, if you don't score, it's going to be hard to win when you have to lay a half run. They did not get it done. The bats were ice cold once again. Kind of a misread, but at the same time, I was happy to see they won the game. They rallied, if you had the under in that, thoughts and prayers, because uh, seven runs in the 10th inning combined for those teams, ridiculous. But the Yankees' bats did, in fact, wake up. That was the angle we were trying to play. Unfortunately for us, we did not get it in the first five. So we pick up the pieces. We look to close out this video uh, with a strong note on this Thursday. And one other thing, of course, got to mention BetMGM, our friends who power this show. If you haven't been over there, use the link in the description of the video or the promo code BENSBET. Why not take advantage of that risk-free bet of up to $1,000? You sign up, you put in some money, you get that risk-free bet, and if you hit it, you have that extra boost to the bankroll. If you miss it, you get the money back in free bets. Maybe, just maybe, you'll use this bet for it. We're going back, just like I did with the Cubs. I'm going to stick to what I've been doing. A little different bet, a little different structure, but also you'll see on the screen, New York Yankees again. New series for them. The Blue Jays come to town. The Blue Jays, 62 and 54, 26 and 29, an angle we've played all year. The Blue Jays are beginning a road trip after six games at home. They just lost two or three of the Orioles, and now they're coming into Yankee Stadium. The Yankees, immaculate, 73 and 45, 42 and 17 at home. A dramatic win last night. The Bats, as I said, it took them long enough, but they finally woke up, scored eight runs, won eight to seven in extras. Maybe that's the boost that they need, and I have a feeling it actually is. On the mound for the Blue Jays, Jose Barrios, 8-5, 5.61 earned run average. Away, 2-4, 7.50. Opponent batting average, 316 on the road, 252 at home. These are not good splits going into Yankee Stadium. There could be some issues. The guy's allowing a lot of home runs. A home run allowed in seven straight starts. Two home runs allowed in two straight starts. A lot of hard contact, a lot of home runs. This is a recipe for potential disaster for the Blues Days pitcher. Now, on the other side, it's a little more interesting. Frankie Montas, 4-9, 3.59 ERA. You think, how, how could it be 4-9? and nine? Well, it's a real simple answer to that. He was on the A's. Uh, they don't give you run support out in Oakland. If he was with the Yankees, he'd probably be you know 13-0 and 0, uh, with the way he's been pitching. This is his first start at Yankee Stadium for the Yankees. He actually pitched there on the road once. I don't really care about that. How will he pitch? I, you know, I think that's a mystery. He's a pretty good pitcher. I, I trust him. So there's a couple of things we can do with this. I, I trust him enough where, to me, and I said this a couple of days ago with the Patrick Corbin line, I think this is going to be a really public side. I think the Yankees are going to take a lot of money. People are going to wake up, see that they won an extras, and bet the Yankees at minus 145, even though it's juicy. I think this will be, you know, could be minus 160 by the time first pitch happens. They're going to take money. This is as good a price as you're going to find with the Yankees. So if you want to make it a public side, if you want to jump on that, and I really like the spot, Yankees minus 145 is where you can go right now. I looked at Odd Chopper. It's in line with Penny. All of that is there. If you think that the Yankees bats cooperate, but you're not as sure on Montas, you can go over eight and a half uh, for the total at minus 105. That is a spot. You just run into some issues with what if the Blue Jays don't give you any production. I really do think the Yankees' bats will do their part. So there's a lot of ways you could structure this. You could go team total for the Yankees. You could go first five again for the Yankees, which is in line with it. Or you could keep it very simple and just take the Yankees to win this game at minus 145. That is my preferred play. That is the play of the day. But I wanted to present some other options because that is really important. You can get the side that you want. How to structure the bet and how to make sure that you're taking the best lines are two things that we really try to maximize here. So for me, I couldn't find that, you know, I didn't want to lay the run and a half. Plus 140 is not a bad line. But for me, the easiest way to get exposure to this game was actually laying the juice. Uh, I don't like, like laying minus 145, but when it checks out and when the, the math works, why not? And I just look at this. 
Berrios could be in for a rough spot. If the Yankees' bats are back, if they hang a handful of runs early, if they get a couple home runs, this game could get out of control. And that could lead to you cashing at all these across the board, whereas the Yankees, the Yankees' run line, the Yankees' first five, over eight and a half. All of that could, in fact, uh, obviously cash tickets. But for here, for this video, we're just going to roll with the New York Yankees, stick with them after a disappointing first five yesterday, and see what we can do here again. I want to thank you guys for watching this video each and every day. Support the channel, support this video, cash some tickets. That is the goal here. You will see me next on Sunday back at it. And of course, college football fast and furiously approaching. Hit me in the comments with your best bets of the day. We've had some really good takes down there, uh, some sharp angles. And we want that to continue for me, for everyone here at Odd Shopper. Good luck. Pains me to say it, but let's go Yankees. Let's get it done. And I'll talk to you guys soon.